What's up everybody, it's the one, the only, the Phenom, and welcome to part 11 of my StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void campaign playthrough. Now, in the previous video we did the mission Steps of the Right, and uh, the mission <coughs> description reads, In exchange for a ceasefire between their people, Artanis has agreed to aid Alarak in usurping the leadership of the Taldari. Oh, damn, apologies. At Alarak's insistence, <coughs> Uh, Artanis eliminated High Lord Malash's guardians, only to learn that he had been deceived and the battle had nothing to do with the ritual. Now, that's not strictly true. I mean, Alarak was fairly certain of uh, <coughs> of the fact that the guardians would interfere. And to be honest, I think when talking things to Alderim, uh, kind of Alarak, I think, knows what's going to happen if he was like the second in command. And uh, yeah. Um, we did that, we eliminated the Guardians, uh, got some more extra solo right, you know, the usual. And now, I think, uh, this next mission will be the actual battle between Alarak and Malash, and, uh, we shall see if the, if our part to play in this battle will be kind of the same that it is in the, um, ah, damn, forgot, in the co-op missions, there we go. Because in the co-op missions, there is, like, the, I guess, the s Chain of Ascension, or something like that, uh, map, where you need to help uh, another another one of, uh, of the Ascendants fight against uh, one of Amon's Ascendants. But, yeah, hopefully it won't get any more lag this time. But, yeah, let's get into the mission. Let's see what's what. Is the hour of my ascendance that Rakshir commence? Nice. Alright, Taldarim High Lord sighted, Death Fleet active. Solar Ride, Solar Ride, but no new units. That's, which is fine. In order to reach bonus objectives, you may have to divide your forces. Yep, that's. That sounds pretty sensible. Can't wait for my new hardware to arrive, and uh, maybe these, uh, maybe the lag spikes and FPS drops will uh, stop. The right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There. The victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgari, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara, but likewise, the Talgari can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. I guess I have Taldarim's spec void rays now. Which is going to be uh, pretty key, I think. The Taldarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Yep, this is exactly the same, so I'm assuming... Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Alright, so... Uh... Betrayal is death. Alarak is winning. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash. You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. Huh. There are some dudes on... Oh, boy. Oh, 
Alright, so now we're maintaining a stalemate, so uh, they can't move forward. <coughs> Which in turn allows me to build up my forces. And that also allows me to build up my economy. The base is obviously a lot smaller, because it only has to fit one player now. Uh, usually these... Like, this area, I think, is for... Well, both of these areas are a bit larger. Sort of pathable. And there's uh, another base here. Okay. I uh, should be getting my warp uh, reinforcements warp in shortly. Oh, what do you mean I have non-minerals? Come on. Alright, that's good. Unless there is a kind of a breaking point until which I can sort of hold the stalemate, but then, uh, yeah, I think I can sort of hold this until I get sufficient reinforcements to deal with buildings and stuff. Tight corridor here, might uh, utilize that for defense. Psionic aura, okay, quicker shield regen, I'll take that. Over there, more probes. Actually, let's get another gateway up. Up oh, here comes some uh, some dudes who want to get their asses kicked. Precisely what happened. Wow, shields regen real quick here. Prismatic beam splits and deals damage to additional targets, but doesn't have increased range. So I gotta remember that. Still needs more, more stuff. Okay, I have a cyber. Uh, yeah. Shit, Cybernetics Core, that's what it was called. <laughs> Let's put a pylon in here. And let's drop a forge. Transfer, uh, transform that into a warp gate. Apparently I, have, I don't have enough minerals again. Okay, slay no one this. I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. Good idea. Alright, let's get these reinforcements in and then we can... Oh, hello. They decide to attack me. Alright, we're moving forward. That's an expansion. For us to build a second nexus here. Yep. Just what I thought, my friend. Right, I need to find another stalemate point. Nexus here. Okay, good. So we found another stalemate location. Oh, you cunning bastard. Okay, darn monoliths. 
in position. Failed. <laughs> Alright then. Just gonna build up some defenses here. Okay. We're kind of uh, fully saturated our base here. Still lacking minerals. I suppose after building all of this. Uh, I am going to be a bit down on minerals. Might need to pick up some sentries. Actually, I can do that quite easily. Don't cost that many minerals. Alright, Nexus is up. So we can start building up our uh, probes. knows what's up. Although, who knows, maybe he once had the same aspirations. I wonder what I, what I did to get that achievement. Finally starting to build up a decent amount of minerals. Another gateway. And I'll start to build up some defenses here. Also, I'm going to start working on, on upgrades. My ground force is still kind of uh, my primary... Uh, my primary strength, so... Uh, yeah. Let's get the assimilators up, because apparently for the first time in quite a while, the... The two main base... Uh, yeah, the two main base... <coughs> Assimilators aren't enough. Orbital assimilators, my bad. Oh, they're attacking again, apparently. Actually, I'm gonna use my uh, ground forces to go eliminate the elementals. Now, from the co op missions, I know that they're uh, not flying units, but. Precisely for these reason, this reason, I'll use ground forces as well. I'll, I'll use, I'll send in the ground forces. Besides, I just don't have the void race to spare at the moment. Only... Oh, hold on. It's actually here. Yep, there it is. Alright, so let's get out there. Wait, they just kill a zealot in transit. Well done, warriors. The first beast has been slain. There we go. Didn't expect an attack there, so maybe I'll go out, uh, go and take out their base, just so I have a bit more uh, security. I right, need some more pylons. Luckily, minerals allow for that. More 
defenses. Oh, Malash is winning now. Okay. I see how it is. I sense more hybrid approaching. Ah, right. First off, we need to protect our wreck. Yep, keep moving forward, away from any possible base that might be hidden. them up. Alright, let's go and uh, go after that second elemental. Damn. Forgot to uh, build up more I forgot to get the upgrades rolling. I forgot to build up more probes at the expansion. There we go. Alright, move out, warriors. Move out. Oh, okay, this wasn't a base. This this is a base, I think, in the co-op missions. Well, maybe this was just an empty area. Regardless, uh, I did... It was a bit overkill. This is going to be a typical uh, sort of campaign style defense. I'll just back up. Move, move through here. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the best shape today, uh, like in general. Alright, destroyers. Go, go, go. Damn, they actually took down the... Cancel that, so I get more resources. No way. Bomb bugger off. There we go. I guess my mistake. Of putting just a single pile on there. Alright, that's done. Alright, more results. Oh, that's a carrier. Hello, carrier. Higher, a hybrid dominator has appeared. It is on its way to Malash. Well then, I guess that's a bad thing. All right, this time I'm actually going to use my void race to uh, to take down uh, the elemental, so my ground force can focus on whatever threat is approaching now. Alright, you wanna go? 
We can go. Oh, sh damn. Oh, and it's an unpowered cannon now. Also, I somehow managed to lose two void rays. Brilliant. Huh. So I have the Taldarim spec uh, void rays, but they have my basic spec void rays. Preliminary scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're... Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Nah. Uh, yep, they're shitting solarite. Our GG. confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Take them down. Oh, this is a lot of red rays. Damn. Oh, is there gonna be a Hail Mary? One last attempt to, uh, to stop me. Oh, damn, I didn't notice this carrier. Yep, they're warping in more units. That was easy. <laughs> nice little, sp uh, little speech. Solar power 200, air ascendant, more achievements. Oh, bonus objectives, okay. Alright then. The last 35 units, yeah, that's that's quite a few in that last, uh, last attack, I think. Longest forward push, 19 seconds. Uh, okay. Destroy three Taldorim Nexuses. And I destroy. I didn't even destroy one actually. I didn't get the one in the end. Uh, yeah, <laughs> big zero there. Malash escort units killed 96. Support Alarak with uh, 25 units or more at the same time. Yep, did that. And uh, yeah, we got the Solarite and we got I guess more faction specialization units. Probably more Taldarim spec units. between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. 
We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we uh. indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us save it for now. We have struck another bargain. Ah, he says struck another bargain, but that means we must give something in return I, again. I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Alrighty then, solar core it is. Oh, Phoenix. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Okay, Phoenix is just uh, saying that he's definitely not in Team Alarak. So, right, Core? What we got? We got Matrix Overload. All friendly units gain a 25% bonus to movement speed and 15% bonus to attack speed while positioned in the, a pylon power field. Effect uh, lasts for up to 15 seconds after leaving the power field. Okay. Guardian Shell. Hell yeah. Spirit of Dune automatically repairs damage mechanical units and structures. Reconstruction beam. Yeah, this is Karak's uh, ability from the co-op missions. But this, Guardian Shell. Yep, should recharge. Oh, that's perfect. 50 uh, solar rate right there. Definitely going with Guardian Shell. This it will help my Zealot. This, this basically makes Zealots have way more value. Especially if they're going in and they get popped real quick. Whilst they're still using Whirlwind. Which means they lose... Like, you don't get even the full Whirlwind damage. With this, this is just crazy good, because especially with my sort of slightly slower style of play, I take I can take up a, take out a base, and if there were units shielded with this before I get to the next base, this will this will already be back up, and they'll be able to get shielded again. This way, I think I should be able to save up way more units than I. Uh, well, yeah, basically save way more units and have. I, and not have to replace mostly zealots uh, for quite a while. Okay then. Um, yeah, still not not feeling these orbital strikes. Pre pretty decent, I would say. And um, yeah, mass mass recall would probably be good, but I think in campaign setting, shield overcharge is way better. I mean, maybe deploy phoenix, but I don't know. Regardless, that's what we're doing with the solar core. Ah, oh, Hyrax. It is good to see you. Good to see you too, Matriarch. Let's see what, what units we can upgrade Alarak first. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. I don't. I wouldn't say but strong. Fierce and strong. Right, so we have our um, High Templar uh, from Ire. Vengeance for the betrayed. Ascension 200. What the hell? Psionic Orb, okay. All enemies, that's good. Sacrifice, reduces target friendly unit to one life. Grants the Ascended two energy. Ah, so this is pretty much like the Devour, or something like that. Um, I can't remember. I think there was a unit in Wings of Liberty that you could uh, use to restore health or something? Maybe I'm just just completely out of whack here, but I think that's what I, rem that's what I remember, at least. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Templar or Ascendant? I think t getting Ascendants will again require too much. Like, here, I can make our Ah, so I lose Archon Merge as well. Uh, which is totally... Totally not worth it. I'm, yeah, I'm taking, uh, I'm taking High Templar. I'll need to incorporate them into the army because Plasma Surge is very good again for making uh, for getting Zealot value, especially if we're going to be facing Zerg. 
Like, if we're facing Zerg, then that's gonna be invaluable. Right, Rohana, Borazun, what do you have for me? Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. All the more reason to get rid of him. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldorim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Yep. That's true. And let's talk to Mr. Uh, Uber Highlord. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ayr only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. <laughs> That's all you can do, buddy boy. Alright, so we're gonna stop here, and in the next video we're gonna go to the other planet. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. So we went to Slain, we've done uh, the Alarak stuff. Now we, will ha we, we have one more planet to go to, and I'm assuming after that we'll go to Ayr. But yeah, as for today, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you leave a like or a comment, that will be much appreciated. And also don't forget that the channel has Twitter and Facebook pages. Check them out. The links for those can be found in the description of this video. And, uh, yeah. And also don't forget about uh, my Twitch channel. The link for that is also in the description. And check my Twitter for um, news on when streams are going to be going on. But yeah, that's definitely going to be it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.